today about Jack Frost. And after our story, we are going to do a little art project inspired by the illustrations of the story. Illustrations are the pictures in the story. So watch the pictures carefully so you'll get some ideas. Our story today is called Here Comes Jack Frost and it's written and illustrated by Kazuno Kohara. Once there was a boy who lived in a house in the woods. It was winter and all his friends were hibernating. I hate winter, he sighed. But then, one cold morning, strange patterns appeared on the windows. The boy ran outside and saw a white figure covering his house with frost and ice. Who are you? asked the boy. I'm Jack Frost, replied the figure. And he ran into the woods. Wait, cried the boy, and chased after him. You can't catch me, laughed Jack Frost. You can't jump over the pond. But the boy had ice skates. You can't catch me, cried Jack Frost. You can't jump over the hill. But the boy had a sled. Jack Frost threw a snowball at the boy. He threw one back, and another, and another. It was fun. Will you stay and play with me, asked the boy. Yes, smiled Jack Frost, but never mention anything warm in front of me. That would break the spell and force me to leave. But now there are so many things we can do. I know, said the boy. Let's build snowmen. They built three so that they wouldn't feel lonely. All winter the boy was careful not to mention anything warm until one day. They were playing hide and seek in the woods when the boy found something. It was a snowdrop. Look, Jack Frost, said the boy. It's almost spring. But Jack Frost was no longer there. The spell was broken. But in the wind that went through the woods, the boy was sure he heard a whisper. See you next winter. And that's the end of the story. Did you like that one? In the story, the boy did lots of fun things in the winter time. Can you remember some of the things he did in the winter? Skating, maybe you remember sledding, building snowmen, having a snowball fight, and then Jack Frost disappeared. Do you remember what broke the spell and made Jack Frost disappear? It was when the boy mentioned something warm, right? The boy mentioned that spring was coming and in the springtime it starts to get warm. I wonder if you can think of any other things that are warm that if the boy had have said to Jack Frost might have made him disappear. I'm sure you can think of lots of things that are warm. Okay, let's do a little bit of painting. In this story, in the illustrations, you might have noticed that the artist has solid backgrounds and shadows for the pictures. So I thought we could make a painting on blue paper with some white paint that would look like a snowy day. So I have here some white paint and my paintbrush. So in the winter, the branches are bare. All the leaves have fallen. So I just need to draw the branches with no leaves. But first, I'm going to start with the trunk of the tree that grows up from the ground. So I'll start down at the ground and paint up. After 
after you've got a trunk for your tree. Don't forget about the branches. You could even add some snowflakes. To make it look like the snow is falling from the sky. Good work. I wish I could see all of your snowy paintings. I wonder if you made a tree. Or maybe you made something else that you remembered from the story. Great work, kindergarten. See you next time. Bye for now.